In this video I'm going to explain how to make a Monty Python like animation in Moro. For an exhibition I had to make uh, an animation uh, about the sissy, uh, the Empress Sissy, and there's a little part in the video where I wanted to have some fun. I was thinking of doing a uh, Monty Python-like animation. So what I first did, I searched uh, a lot of archives and here is uh, Sissy and have to cut her out and I'm doing everything in Procreate but you can of course do it in, in Photoshop as well. So I'm now just making the selection in Procreate and then duplicate uh, that layer and you know erase parts I don't need. And this is going to be a very uh, simple uh, animation because the original animations of Monty Python uh, were done by Terry Gilliam who later uh, directed a lot of the Monty Python movies. And in order to make this animation, they did it with, uh, or he did it with uh, cut out animation. So he uh, Xeroxed a lot of photos and then he just uh, would cut them out and then do uh, the cut out animation, I think with a 16 millimeter camera. So I'm going to uh, do the same thing, but now digitally and I'm using uh, Procreate to cut out all the, the characters. So uh, I also uh, cut out some simple parts like the feet of uh, the Empress Sissy. And I also cut out uh, the, the wagon. And on the wagon, I need some characters that are sitting inside the wagon. So first I wanted to uh, animate uh, the horse in uh, that picture, but I found some great animation footage and that's from Moobridge and Moobridge uh, has a lot of walk cycles and I just found this walk cycle of a horse and then uh, I just made them all because it is one file and I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can find these uh, animation loops and in order to you know make the background transparent I needed to uh, eliminate all the back background uh, in each frame of the horse and it's just four frames because I need it to be a, a bit crude because it doesn't have to be real smooth animation because it's more about the, the comical side of the animation. So now I have everything in Photoshop and I have compiled them in uh, different groups and now I'm opening Moho Pro 13 and I'm going to import this PSD file and then make the animation in Moho. I'm now going to change the project settings and it is a different file size, it's a different video size. It's, it's 3072 pixels by 1200 pixels at 25 frames per second and then only need 250 uh, frames because it's because the animation is going to be 10 seconds long now I can import the PSD file and the great thing about Moho is that you can import it but when you import it you have to choose individually because then it will um, create a file with all the groups and the layers the same as your PSD file. There's also a camera in Moho and I'm just going to set it that the hotel in the back will be in the frame and also uh, Sissy who will be walking in front of the hotel on the beach and the wagon and you can just move it around. It's always great you know before you start your animation to save it otherwise when it crashes you know, you know all your animation will be lost 
for the animation of the horse I'm going to import a, a separate PSD file because it is an image sequence and it will import it into a group and the great thing about MOO is that you can switch the group to a switch layer and with a switch layer you can animate the image sequence. So I'm going to turn it to a switch layer and within the switch layer you see all the different frames. So I'm going to start on the timeline on frame number one and then I'm going to uh, do a different image within the switch layer on each new frame. And in this way you can create a walk cycle. When you right click on the last frame, you can create a cycle by choosing cycle and then it will jump to frame number one. And then you have to delete the last frame because it's, ho it's holding the last frame. And now you have walking cycle of the horse. And that will keep repeating itself because it will jump from the last frame to the first frame. First going to animate Empress Sissy, her walking cycle, and it's just really a simple setup. I have uh, three different files, two of the feet. So I'm first going to animate the feet with the transform tool, not using any bones, because this is a very jumpy and simple animation. And I create the, the last frame is the same as the first frame. In that way you can make uh, a great walking cycle. So with the rotation tool and also with the transform tool I'm just changing her foot and we're gonna do the same with the, the other leg as well. I'm just animating uh, the middle frame and change it a little. Then I'm gonna right click on the last frame and create a cycle. And I'm gonna do the same with the other leg. And this way you can create a cycle of the legs. Also going to add another motion. So I'm going to uh, animate the entire body of uh, Sissy and just do a very simple animation that she goes up and down. So I'm creating uh, the same layer. So that last layer is the same as the first layer. And then I'm just going to animate the middle layer. Select the last frame and make it into a cycle. So now you have a bit of a silly walk. Now I can zoom out and uh, select the frame or the, the group of Empress Sissy and I just can move it around. So I'm gonna drag it to the left on the first frame on the timeline and then I'm gonna select the last frame. I'm just going to drag the entire group to the right of the screen. And in this way you can make a simple walk uh, cycle animation which goes from left to right.
when you press on the space bar, the uh, timeline will start to play. So this animation is finished and now I can go and animate the wagon with the people inside it. First I need to merge um, the horse and the, the wagon sequence into one group. Because then I can drag the entire group from left to right when I've finished uh, the walking cycle. I'm just going to test it out. Because the wagon needs to follow Empress Sissy. Because the story goes is that she walked from Zandvoort Beach and this is Zandvoort Beach and she walked for 12 hours to The Hague. And you know the people that worked for her couldn't uh, keep up, so they had to follow with, uh, with the wagon with the horse in front of it. I still need to animate the wheels and also the people that are inside the wagon. So I'm first going to animate the cycle of the wheels that are turning around. And I made a separate file because I drew the, these wheels um, with a front view because in the original picture of the wagon, the wheel was in perspective and that when you turn that around, it will be a little bit too wonky. So I'm gonna animate the, the wheels as well and also turn them into a cycle. I'm just gonna use the rotation tool because the wheels need to be uh, in place. And I'm going to select the last frame and make a cycle to frame number one. I'm going to do the same with the front wheel. So first select it, go to frame one and just select, uh, select it with the rotation tool and then for the last frame you can turn it all the way around and also make a cycle of it. So now the wheels are turning and the next thing I'm going to do is animate uh, the wagon going a little bit up and down and with a little bit of rotation. I'm just using the transform tool and also the rotation tool. And I'm making this cycle a little bit longer than four frames. So you can, you know, change it up a little so that uh, all the different elements will um, animate separately. And then you get a more randomized animation. So I'm selecting the last layer and also make it into a cycle. Now it's time to move uh, the people inside the wagon around. And I'm just gonna use the uh, rotation tool and the transform tool as well. And you know they need to jump up a little because you know it needs to be a little bit of a funny uh, cycle, you know that uh, these people are just shaking inside of the wagon. So I have separated them already in Photoshop, and I um, took another picture uh, from an archive and then uh, separated all of the the different characters. So. You can move them around separately so you get more of a random uh, feel that they jump up and down in the wagon. 
I also make uh, cycles of all of these different uh, layers where all the the characters are in and you know just make it a little bit jumpy and sometimes I have frames which are four frames long and others are a little bit longer so you get a more randomized feel of the animation and lastly I'm going to animate the guy in the back and make him jump up a little bit more and also create a cycle to frame number one so now the cycle is completed of the animation of the wagon with the horse in front of it and now I can drag the entire group from left to right and you know the cycle animation keeps repeating itself so this is an easy way to make an animation in a Monty Python like style I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos about animating in Moho please let me know in the comments down below if you haven't subscribed already to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification drawing is fun and practice makes perfect see you next time Doodles!